Barber cuts man's hair for free, gets modeling contract next day. He couldn't believe his eyes when he looked into the mirror. The man in the mirror was unfamiliar to him. It wasn't the man he thought himself to be. But it was him. It was a lot to take in. He had a whole new look. He could tell that it would make an impression on others. But would it turn his life around? When he was a young man, Jose Antonio never thought he'd ever find himself living on the streets. A resident of Palma de Mallorca, Spain, he used to work as a skilled electrician. But when he was 30 years old, everything changed. A work accident left him incapacitated and unable to do his job. His financial situation began to spiral and he fell into a deep depression. That's when things turned really dark for Jose. Jose's descent into homelessness did not happen overnight. It's a long process, he said. A depression starts. In a depressed state, your mood is not the most regular. And then you go out onto the streets. Unable to keep up with his bills, Jose became homeless. At first, he thought it would be a temporary situation. He made some money parking cars at town squares and other public areas. He thought he could make enough money to find a place to live. But that never came to be. Eventually, Jose became used to living on the streets. Parking cars and doing odd jobs gave him enough money to buy food and survive on a day-to-day -day basis. After a few years, he even became a fixture of the Plaza España, where he hung out every day and helped people with their parking. Business owners and workers in the vicinity all came to know him and befriend him, giving him the nickname of Josite. Then one day, a man came along who decided to go even further. Josite had been homeless for 25 years, and by now he knew no other life. Then one day, he met Salva Garcia. Salva is the owner of La Salvageria, a hair salon not far from Plaza España. When we met, I had a studio in the square where he helped park cars, remembers Salva. I always joked with him telling him he had to cut off his mane, but he resisted. But it seems that, after a while, Josite changed his mind. The next time Salva ran into Josite, the homeless man told him he was willing to put himself in Salva's hands. Salva agreed to cut his hair for free in exchange for letting him take before and after pictures as Josite modeled for him. Josite agreed. The hairstylist then called a photographer for the project, and while they waited for him to arrive, he invited Josite to a cup of coffee. As they sat together, the old man talked about his past. This gave Salva a new idea. It was clear that his story deserved to be told and that Josite deserved another opportunity to get ahead, said Salva after hearing Josite's tale of depression and homelessness. So, instead of just taking pictures, Salva decided to film a short documentary. He hired a production company to interview Josite and film the makeover process. Josite himself seemed glad for the chance to express himself. I can't be happy with the life that I have, he said. But would he be happy with his new look? On the day of the makeover, all mirrors were removed from La Salvageria so that Josie couldn't see himself until the transformation was complete. There was also a mirror on the other side of a window, which Salva asked Josie if he preferred closed or opened. Open now, to see myself like this for the last time, he replied. Then we close them to see if, when they open again, something else opens up in my life. Like a symbol, then the real work began. The first thing Salva and his team did was cut Josite's long, shaggy mane, which had grown down to his shoulders. Then they trimmed his scraggly beard, but they did not shave it entirely. The next step was dyeing his locks, which had turned gray over the years. Now he'd be back to his original brown. Lastly, they shaved his neckline and tweezed his eyebrows. A new Josite was emerging, just waiting for the finishing touches. Salva realized it wasn't enough to give Josite a new hairstyle. So he purchased a whole new outfit, one that was stylish and youthful, hoping to show the 55-year-old man a glimpse of a different life. Josite put on the white shirt, bright red pants, and dapper shoes, still not knowing what he would look like. Then he sat again on the stylist's chair, and Salva opened the window. Josite's jaw dropped. Josite's transformation was all caught on camera. 
In the video, he sits in the salon chair while one of the hairstylists opens the shutters that cover the mirror. When Josie catches the first glimpse of himself, he is amazed and confused. His mouth slowly opens and his eyes widen. After a few seconds of disbelief, he lets out a long sigh. Josie gasped, putting his hands on his face. This is amazing, dude, he said under his breath. He stood up, turning in different directions to better look at his new self. My God, I don't recognize myself. Soon he couldn't hold back the tears. Are you excited? Salva asked. Honestly, yes, he replied. He was shocked, and he knew he wouldn't be the only one. I'm hallucinating. It's really me? Josie exclaimed, no, no one will recognize me. As long as I don't tell them who I am, no one will recognize me. I assure you, the whole neighborhood will not recognize me. And he was right. After leaving the salon, he went back to Plaza España to his usual hangout by the side of a monument. When Josie took up his usual place on the street, he was met by gasps of disbelief. The people who knew him had to look twice before accepting it was really him. Waitresses at nearby restaurants smiled and gave him a thumbs up, clearly approving of his new look. Others had no idea it was him. No. It's Jose, one man asked. A group of ladies passing by tell him he looks very, very handsome. After his makeover, Josie's life was forever changed. And, although he knew things would never be the same for him again, he could never have predicted the startling turn of events that would come next. Josie sat at a bar table in the square and ordered a beer from a waiter he'd spoken to many times before. The waiter brought his drink without acknowledging him, seeming to think he was just a random customer. Don't you recognize me? Josie asked. After realizing who he was speaking to, the waiter said, You don't look like you. But now that he had a brand new look, Salva wanted to give Josie a new life to match it. The video of Josie's transformation made its way online in March 2017, and he became an internet sensation overnight. But by then, Josie was already living a different life to the one he'd known for so many years. After his transformation, he had managed to get off the streets and was no longer homeless. How? With the help of an anonymous donor, Salva was able to secure a room in a shared apartment for Josie to live in. He also enlisted an organization to give him financial assistance and help him find a job, which was much easier now that he had a permanent address. But that wasn't the only thing that had changed. Josie started to seek treatment for the ailments that had developed over the years on the street. He hoped to undergo several surgeries to fix his cataracts, which had developed after years of exposure to the elements and a poor diet. His life was truly turning around, and he was extremely grateful. He also began to invest more time in his appearance. Josie decided to let his hair dye wash out so his hair would return to his natural gray shade. Now, his striking silver fox look made people compare him to the Hollywood actor, George Clooney. And, just like his Hollywood doppelganger, Josie's new look was proving to be a huge hit with the ladies. He was even offered a few modeling gigs. Due to a simple yet life-changing makeover, Josie now had a completely new lease on life. The new look has helped me deal with the way I feel inside. It's had so many practical consequences, he explained in an interview with Mail Online. There was no way I could have found accommodation before. I would have been turned away. Josie acknowledges that a hairstylist changed his entire life. Josie knows he has the La Salvageria hair salon to thank for turning his life completely around. Without the kindness of the salon owner, Josie has no idea how things might have turned out. I doubt any of these changes would have happened if it wasn't for the help of people like the hair salon owner, he said. I'll be eternally grateful to them. But all of it almost didn't happen. Salva Garcia revealed that he'd been trying to get Josie into his salon chair for some time before he eventually relented. I had been telling Josie for a while that I could do his hair and beard for him and one day he said yes, he explained. And how does Salva feel about how he changed a homeless man's life with a haircut? Due to Josie's transformation video, business at the La Salvageria hair salon was booming. 
Salva was also absolutely thrilled that the makeover he'd done for Josique had led to something truly life-changing for the homeless man. I'm really pleased with the way things are going for him. He's a fantastic guy. The physical transformation has definitely led to a change to many things in his life. It's amazing to think that something as simple as a haircut, beard trim, and some new clothes changed Josite's life forever. Now, he has a newfound sense of confidence after living on the streets for 25 years, and it was that confidence that enabled him to lift himself out of his situation. Josite's remarkable story didn't end there. It seems Josie's story started something of a trend around the world. Look on the internet today, and you will find many such tales of kind salon owners giving homeless people free makeovers. As usual with the internet, Josie's story took on a life of its own and became an inspiration to many people.